Hello, my friends, and welcome to another daily check-in. In today's check-in, I wanted to share with you something that I've uh, pondered on for a long time, and I've probably already shared here before, but I thought I would share again. And as the light comes out here and starts to shine on me, which is nice because we've had some overcast, I guess I wanted to start by sharing how when I went from doing gymnastics as an athlete, becoming a gymnastics coach, then becoming a personal trainer in the fitness scene, and eventually finding CrossFit, and there becoming what one would call a subject matter expert, I experienced a little bit of wrestling with my ego. What I mean by this is that as I got into becoming a coach and a personal trainer and then someone who had something to say in the CrossFit scene, I had this clear intention of what I wanted to do. I wanted to help people move effectively and efficiently. I wanted people to move closer to what they dreamed of when it came to their physical performance. I uh, wanted to be a beacon of light, if you will, okay? Someone who could shed light on hard problems and allow for people to move in that direction in a way that could make a positive impact. At the same time, as I was growing in my capacity to express myself and I was connecting with more and more people, all of a sudden, I started getting trapped in the attention game. <laughs> I wanted more attention in the credibility game. I wanted to be recognized as an expert. I wanted to get credit for the work that I was doing. And uh, I simply wanted to be the guy. And as I grew and grew and grew and grew, these two beasts, my intention and my ego became bigger and bigger and bigger. So the fights, became bigger and bigger internally. And although I was aware of these fights internally, I could only really understand them by seeing what was happening around me. Now, let me explain what was happening around me at that time. At that time, I was surrounded by uh, people who were in the CrossFit scene and uh, CrossFit as a brand and, or and an organization was growing, and especially with the CrossFit Games happening. and under the CrossFit umbrella, even if they were not directly affiliated with CrossFit, there were these subject matter experts who were also gaining uh, great traction. And as CrossFit was great, gaining traction and these subject matter experts, myself included, were gaining traction, but some much bigger than I was, people in the field started learning from these subject matter experts learning the techniques that were being shared through CrossFit and creating their own and creating their own as if uh, they were the original source. Now, this is not an unusual thing to see happen. This happens in every industry and in every field and it's not something surprising. But what was surprising to me was to see the change that occurred in the personalities, myself included, involved in this expansion and this is what it was people became neurotic and paranoid and controlling and they wanted more 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 and what that did was it caused people to fight it was constant stress a lot of fear and the weirdest relationships were starting to develop and the weirdest interactions were starting to occur and it was a really confusing time for me but that confusion, instead of being something scary, it actually felt like, to me, like something big, like something new, an opportunity. And it's as if I had this fork in the road all of a sudden. I had two choices. I could become neurotic and par paranoid and fight for what was mine, or so I thought, or I could let go and enter a place where I could say, I've arrived at a place where the work that I've done now can carry on without me having to control it and it's off to the races. And this gives me a chance to now start to grow into the next iteration of who I can become as a coach and what I can contribute to the world. 
And that was approximately seven years ago now. And now being able to look back, I realize that I still wrestle with my ego. I still want attention. I still want uh, to receive credit. But it's such a small part of me and it's just there as a reminder at this moment. And I am glad I was able to choose letting go and growing rather than becoming neurotic, paranoid, and fighting. Because now I'm in a place where I can see, I can see more. I can see better in a way. Meaning I can see that everyone is trying the best they can with what they have and that I have to continue to practice trying the best I can with what I have. And I share this because as I'm entering this new stage of my coaching career and my life, I feel like I'm being reminded of my original intention for wanting, having the desire of becoming a coach, which was that I felt like I had something to share. And although I can ego trip on that alone, that something that I have to share, it's almost as if it's my responsibility. And I share this here because I believe it can be a way of keeping me accountable, of keeping me in check as I grow into this, this next iteration of who I am or think I am <laughs> in this world. And also I share this because if you are someone who's listening or watching right now and you're either experiencing what I just shared where what you created is being stolen or so you think by others that you should know that you have a choice and you have a choice to uh, let go of that or to fight not to eliminate but rather to find alignment and inclusivity and not in a way where you have the upper hand but rather you get to meet in the middle where it's best for all parties involved and the other reason I'm sharing this with you is because if you're just starting out right now and you're hoping to create something big because you feel it that you have it inside remember make that your practice remember that that is your intention and when shit hits the fan and gets hard continue to remember and remember harder remember more double up on that and you'll see that you'll be able to create some space between you and the drama and it will allow you to make better decisions now that's my check-in for today and I could ramble about this for days so I just want to conclude by saying thank you to everyone who was there to support me from the beginning and also to those in my family and my friend group who were able to check me when they had to check me and I'm gonna thank myself for being willing to be checked and to participate in the full experience in a way that I now feel is pretty fluid. Am I proud of everything that I've done or how I've done it? Not necessarily, but I am grateful for it and I am in a constant state of learning and that to me feels right and I thought that I would share that today in this check-in. So for now, over and out, here from the Presidio, the sun is out. I'm going to enjoy the sun for a little bit and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.